They face a Stanford team only a year removed from being a number one seed themselves. Kirk Heinrich's availability in question after spraining his ankle on Thursday, but he was in uniform. The Jayhawks of Stanford in our showcase highlight. There's Kirk in uniform, didn't start. They didn't need him. Jeff Boshi, one of his five threes. Kansas is ahead 15 to nothing. 13.05 left, here comes Heinrich. Crowd goes nuts. So you injured young fella, you tell me. Doesn't look like it. He went six of nine from the floor. It's all Jayhawks up 22 at the half, and now they're running. Aaron Miles from Heinrich, tough lay in. Kansas up 28. Casey Jacobson, a great player. Can't hang your head, son. You couldn't have done anything. Nobody could have. Four Kansas players score 15 points or more, led by Boshi with 19. Kansas now 8 and 1 all time against the Cardinal. The 23 point loss was the worst ever in Stanford history in NCAA tournament play. The Hawks advance to the Sweet 16 for the eighth time under Roy Williams and the 21st in school history. Now, if you jumped off the KU bandwagon after they lost to Oklahoma and struggled with Holy Cross, here's your invite back on. Saturday, they put the rock in rock chalk. For all the doubters out there, I think uh, I think that question mark on our team, I think it's starting to slowly, slowly disappear. And uh, this team has fight left in them. And uh, we have a goal. And, I mean, we're going to leave it all on the floor every game. We played in a lot of games, but, you know, this win does feel good. And, you know, we're still alive. And, you know, one of the things, you know, another motivation for me was, you know, I didn't want this to be my last game in a, in a Can uh, Kansas uniform. Wake, Oregon, 7-2. Don't blink. You'll miss something. Craig Dawson, 5 of 8 from 3. There's one of them. Wake Forest up 6. Oregon, though, has a couple of Lukes, and they've got a Skywalker. This duck can fly. Freddie Jones, that's levitation, Holmes. Oregon down 1. Later in the half, this is bad news. Craig Dawson leaves the game separated left shoulder. They could not afford that loss. Luke Rittenauer, 7 of 11 from 3. Have some. Ducks up 2. Final minute. Darius Sangalia, the senior. From point blank, he had 19 points, but he missed that one. And that was really, oh my, indeed, the last shot for the Deacons. Ducks big three, Luke Jackson, Luke Rittenauer, Freddie Jones combined for all but 11 of the Ducks points. Craig Dawson had 20, but his shoulder injury late in the game really switched the momentum. Wake was 11 of 19 from three, five Deacons in double figures. More balanced, but the Ducks big three are onto the Sweet 16. Coach Kent, hope you had that VCR running. I want to go home and watch the game. I just thought it was an unbelievable college basketball game with five of their players in double figures and the numbers that these three guys put up. What a, what a great entertaining game and what a great style we play. We came out, you know, something to prove that the Pac-10, you know, is a tough conference and, uh, you know, Wake Forest played a great game and we just, uh, you know, my hat's off to them. So the one and the two both move on in the Midwest. Dominant animal theory. Who wins between a duck and a Jayhawk? I don't know. It would be a hell of a game. KU must first deal with either Illinois or Creighton while the Ducks await the UT Mississippi State winner. South Regional, Alabama the two, Kent State the 10, and it was a bad first half for Bama. Maurice Williams, that's not really the entry pass we're looking for. Demetric Shaw picks Rod Grizzard's pocket, and then SEC player of the year, Irwin Dudley, can't handle Kenny Walker's bounce pass. And finally, Antoine Petaway tied with eight field goals and 11 turnovers in a banner first half. Second half, Trevor Huffman, and this guy is a player. Double foul. 20 for Huff and 18 for Antonio Gates. All Kent State 71-58. We all know about the dangers of the 12-5. The 10-2 is no picnic either. Since 1997, the 10 seed has won 8 of 12 meetings with the 2. Golden Flash is the ninth 10 seed to get to the Sweet 16 since 97. And the fourth MAC team to get there since they went to 64 teams back in 85. Tide loses its fourth straight second round game as Kent State wins its 20th straight game this year. The longest current winning streak in the nation is still going. We got beat by a very good team. This wasn't a team that struggled through their conference. This is not a team that, you know, finished fourth and won the conference tournament. This team's won 20 in a row. When we put our best game on the floor, we just kind of took the wind out of their sails a little bit. Um, you know, I, didn't, I, don't, I don't think they expected us to be that good. Um, and, and I kind of felt that. I don't know if anybody else felt that, but you know, it was you know just you know our, our team did a great job of staying focused, um, you know, throughout the game. Coach Case Dukey's the top seed in the South, facing eighth seed at Notre Dame, coached by former Shashevsky assistant Mike Bray. Second half, Chris Thomas, Irish up one after a 14-0 run, but Thomas only four points on two of 14 shooting. Under six minutes left, Daniel going for a foray. 
A freshman had a career high 18. Minute and a half to go. Harold Swanigan, and we are tied, people. Swanigan at 13. Under a minute left. Dukey's up two. Ryan Humphrey gets a decent look. Back iron. And here's your ball game. 30 seconds left. Irish are down three. Thomas, this is for the tie. Matt Carroll offensive board. Look at Dante Jones take the charge. What a heads up play. And Duke holds on 84-77. They are into the Sweet 16 for the 13th time under that man. Mike Krzyzewski now 58 and 14 in the NCAA tournament all time and 14 and 0 against his former assistant coaches. Blue Devils 18 and 3 in their last 21 NCAA tournament games. They'll make their fifth straight trip to the Sweet 16. Daniel Ewing was spectacular, uh, but so was Casey Sanders. Casey had four defensive rebounds and adjusted some shots, and with Carlos in foul trouble, um, you know, those two kids really put us on their backs there, and they gave us life. Played him freshman year, and we got beat by 50. You know, we, we took him to the wire here, and, you know, that says a lot about where we've come in four short years. And, uh, you know, there's nothing negative coming out of our locker room on, the, on this game. It was a great effort on both sides. UK the four, Tulsa the 12, seconds left, first half, Tayshawn Prince to beat the buzzer. Oh yeah, Cats up, one at the break, it was all about Tayshawn Prince. Second half, Prince down low, this is good for two, make it three. He was 14 of 21 from the floor Saturday and said, I was really hungry, I needed to take a bite out of something. Prince, 41 points, his previous career high had been 31, six of eight from three-point range, and Tubby's Cats look impressive again. 87 to 82. Prince had a lot to say about his effort, like, quote, I should have had one more rebound. Should have had the double-double. Kentucky's now won 14 straight games against double-digit seeds in the NCAA tournaments. Cats into the Sweet 16 for the seventh time in nine years, and Tayshawn led the way. 41 points with just 21 shots is really, really impressive. Uh, 37 minutes without a turnover. I, because I've been turning the ball over pretty much a lot. Because, uh, you know, I had a ball in my hands a lot. I play a lot of minutes. But see, to see a lot of, uh, to see no turnovers, should have got one more rebound there, but uh, have a double-double. But <laughs> I'm, just glad, I'm just glad I took care of the basketball and knocked some shots down because, um, um, you know, it was just a three-point game with 10 seconds left. South bracket, UNC Wilmington, the 13, coming off the upset of USC, looking for more magic against six-seeded Indiana. That was Jared Jeffries, two of his 22. Then A.J. Moyer for three. Hoosiers by six at halftime, 12 for Moyer. Second half now, it's Brent Blizzard. The three, 29 for Blizzard, and here comes UNC Wilmington. Anthony Terrell for four. He had 13 points and 13 boards. Seahawks within three, but final minute, Kyle Hornsby. Double foul. Hornsby at 12, and Indiana holds on, 76-67. When's the Mike Davis made for TV movie? He's got the Hoosiers into the Sweet 16 for the first time since 94. IU shoots 55%. And who says the Big Ten is down this year? Big Ten so far, 5-2 and two in the NCAA tournament. Indiana looking good into the Sweet 16. There is some bad news, though. They get Duke next. Here's a peek at who's left in the south bracket. There it is, Duke and Indiana, the 1-5 matchup. Kent State, those golden flashes, the Mac Daddies, they await the winner of the game between Cal and Pittsburgh. Out west, 3-11, Jason Gardner, get it out of here. Here comes Jason straight. Oh, no, he didn't. He fakes the behind the back, takes it to the glass. Wyoming down five with a minute left. Jason Gardner had a rough day from outside. Takes it back door, lays it in. He was 4 of 13 from the floor. Cats up 7. They go on to the win in the building. Lou Dolson said he'd never return to. That would be the pit. Arizona, 39 points from the combo of Luke Walton and Channing Fry. Cats now 9-0 this season on neutral courts. But the pit was hardly neutral on Saturday. Wyoming, who's won more games on that floor than any other school besides New Mexico, had plenty of vocal supporters. Josh Davis gave him plenty to cheer about. 17 and 11. Also out west. Missouri and Ohio State, it was all tied. And Ricky Paulding, what's the name of the song? Explosivo. The high flyer had 20 Missouri onto their first Sweet 16 since 94. Of Mizzou, Ohio State's Brian Brown said they're dangerous because they're unconscious. They shoot the ball whenever they feel like it. Tigers coach Quinn Snyder said right now this is an incredibly hungry team. Kareem Rush playing with 21 stitches in his lip, one of four Tigers in double figures. For the fifth year in a row, the 12 seed out west makes it on to the round of 16. 
Missouri awaiting the winner of one seed Cincy and UCLA, while Arizona will take on either two seed Oklahoma or.